So you're wondering where you should stay when you come to Oahu. There are three resort locations that I'm going to be listing the pros and cons of. So at the end, you can decide for yourself. So let's jump into it. The three resort areas are Waikiki, Ko'olina, and the North Shore. In order to preserve local living, by law, all hotels and short-term vacation rentals are limited to these three areas. Welcome to Waikiki. So, Waikiki is the most popular place to stay on the island of Oahu. So, let's talk about pros and cons, which I think will be very interesting. A major pro, which is very, very obvious, I mean, it's Waikiki, it's very historic big place to see on the island in Oahu. I would argue it's the number one place to see on Oahu. No, it's a pretty cool thing. You get to stay right in the place to be. The biggest con of staying in Waikiki is of course the people, the traffic, the noise. There's just so many people crammed up into one spot. You just can't get away from it. Biggest pro, which I totally miss about living in Waikiki, is how accessible everything is versus maybe in the other resort areas like Colina and the North Shore. It's gonna be a lot harder to do some things that you wanna do. Major con is parking, literally impossible. And if you do find a spot, you're paying like $20 to park there. So that's a big one for me. That's why we don't come to Waikiki as often is because of the parking. So let's talk shopping. Although you can do it all around Waikiki, there is a central location to do all your shopping called the International Marketplace with tons of stores. So if you're really looking to spend a good penny, come to this place here. So the pro I have to give to Waikiki is you can find some of the most affordable places on the island versus North Shore and Kaolina. Most affordable resort area. Huge pro. I don't know if I'm gonna get hate for this, but Waikiki Beach is not even near prettiest beach on the island and I wouldn't even rank it in the top 10 so just keep that in mind it's cool to say you went to Waikiki Beach but it's not a beach that locals will go to because it's not that pretty and it's just spread down the tourists so. it's not often that it rains in Waikiki but when it does it's very light and brief so that's a huge pro about Waikiki Ko'olina is located on the west side of Oahu, or also known as the leeward side. Ko'olina is made up of resorts and actually four big man-made lagoons that are all connected and all the resorts are kind of right up on top of each other. So I'm about to head to one of the lagoons, show you that, and then we'll name some pros and cons. So a very big pro is that these lagoons are man-made, so they're very safe for families and children. That's really important here in Hawaii because the ocean can get very, very rough. So a really big con about the lagoons is that they're really just made for swimming. There's no good snorkeling, as in there's not like a reef to attract fish. You can't really surf, you can't do any water sports, so you're just here to swim. The one pro about Koalina, there's just a ton of room to lay out have fun, have a picnic, do some sports, because it's just very open versus Waikiki. You can't really do any of that. All right, so another con, which is a big one for me. It's pretty far away from a lot of the very popular sites here to see on Oahu. The west side is just so far from everything. I think your closest thing is like Waikiki or Pearl Harbor. More like Pearl Harbor, but everything else is so far, at least an hour drive. So, I made a stop at Koalina Station, which is like a shopping mall here around the resorts. What I love about this little area, you have one central location to do all your shopping. There's a lot of restaurants, so that's a big pro of Koalina. So I gave a pro, which is this Koalina Station, which I think is pretty cool. But I think the worst con about Koalina is that it's located on the I don't want to say ugliest because Hawaii, everything is beautiful, but the least pretty side of the island. You're not going to see a lot of mountains. Yes, you are on the coast, but all you can kind of really see is dry grass, hills, and resorts. And it's kind of like made up, like artificial, if you know what I mean. It does not feel as crowded as Waikiki. In fact, I know it's not as crowded as Waikiki. It's just so open and you kind of feel secluded, which is a really good thing. If you're coming during the winter months, which is the rainy season on the island, this is the perfect place to stay because 
it's the part of the island that gets the least amount of rain. Look at this little fella. So here's what I was talking about earlier about all the lagoons are connected. You had this walkway here, and then of course you had the road that connects all of it together. So this is a big overview of Koalina. Let's talk about our last pro, safety. I'm gonna drive around a little bit and show you like it's pretty gated off and there is like a security entrance that has like an attendant there. So it does feel like a very safe place to stay, but well, I'll show you. This is the front entrance with the gate attendant when you come in to Koalina. And also at all the resorts, you'll need a key to get into most places. So we're back from Koalina. Next is North Shore, so we'll see you tomorrow. <music> Welcome to North Shore, and in fact, more specifically, Turtle Bay Beach Resort, because this is the only resort here on the North Shore. I'm not going to be focusing just on the resort. This is the pros and cons of why you should stay on the North Shore in general. Let's talk a very big pro, which was pretty obvious to me once I first came to the resort. There's hotel rooms and beach villas, so you can kind of choose what style you want to stay in. But I think a con, Especially during the popular season here in Hawaii, it's pretty expensive here at this resort. I've heard that in the off season it does get much cheaper, which is great, but they just reopened from renovation. So that may be why when I looked at the prices it was like very, very expensive. That's just what I've seen. You can do your own research and look at the prices yourself. I forgot to mention they also have bungalows too, so you definitely have a wide range of accommodations to stay at here. Big, big pro, which I noticed because I went on the beach. All beaches in Hawaii are public access, even if you think it's not. Nothing is off limits to just anyone. And it was very obvious that it's a very family friendly resort. And the beach looks very safe. It looks man made, like they arranged it to where it's safe to swim. And there's buoys blocking off areas of the beach that may not be safe, especially because it looks very rocky. So, huge plus. Let's talk about North Shore in general. If you're staying at the resort, you're right near our favorite places to eat here on the North Shore. When I was driving on the way here, passed by all the good spots. Although North Shore is a really cool place to be and it's a cool place to see as a tourist, it is far away from some other spots on the island which I think are really awesome to see. So yes, you're close to things, but you're also far away from other things. But I think you're gonna get that anywhere you stay here on Oahu. Okay, just thought of another pro. It's just a really pretty resort in general. And you have the views of North Shore, the mountains over here, which is a huge plus. So a big con, which really only applies to winter months, is that the swells get so large that it floods some of the streets and they can be shut down for days. So it would be hard to get back and forth to where you need to go. So I am in Haleiwa, which is definitely your central location to shop here in the North Shore. Although it is like a good 30 minutes from the resort we were at, Turtle Bay, but this is the cutest little town. Definitely a must do on the North Shore. You have big name restaurants that we have eaten at and they're big name for a reason. Although there are some big name restaurants that are a little bit too hyped up. But anyway, super pro, Haleiwa. So it's kind of hard to pick a winner here. It just kind of depends on your taste and what you like individually. But I hope this video helped for you when you plan your vacation to Oahu. If you love videos like this, check this one out next if you haven't seen it already.